This is how to create the split screen effect in DaVinci Resolve. So here I have my clip. I've made sure that the center, the left and the right are all distinctly different looking from each other. I'm gonna go to the point where I want the screen to split. I'm gonna highlight this clip. I'm gonna hold Alt and drag it up, create one copy and then hold Alt and drag it up again to create a second copy. So now I've got two copies of that original clip. Now I'm gonna hide the top two for a second and just work on the bottom. So this is where I want the screen to split. I'm gonna create a zoom keyframe and a position keyframe. I'm gonna go forward about, I don't know, six frames and then zoom in to the pot plant. I want that to be my center screen because I'm gonna split in three parts vertically. Now we're gonna make one of the layers visible. We're gonna highlight it. We're going to zoom in and move the position to the left. Now we're gonna double click the crop and then drag it right until we create a split like we want to see it. I'm gonna adjust this just a little bit. Yeah, that looks good. And now you're gonna deactivate the top one and do the same except for the right. So I'm gonna zoom in. I'm gonna do the position on the guy with the laptop and then crop left like so. I'm just gonna fix this up a little bit. And here we go, this is our split screen. Now we need to animate it. Now select your original clip and go to before you start the zoom in because right now this is what we've got. Now go to the beginning of the zoom in, highlight your second video layer and create a position keyframe and the same with the top. And now go to the end of that zoom tradition and do the same. Second layer, position keyframe, third layer, position keyframe. And now you're gonna go back to the original values, click the second layer, and then just move the position all the way to the top. Now go to the third layer and move the position all the way to the bottom. Now this is gonna create this effect, like so. Now if you want a bit of a delay, you can click this diamond to see the keyframes and drag them around as you wish. So let me just give myself a little bit more space here. So instead of all three happening at the same time, I could give them a bit of a delay. So for example, I could move these keyframes and then move these and the third and second layer so that it looks like this. I could make the original animation quicker. I could literally do anything I want with these keyframes really and just play around until they look good. So maybe this. So I've created this effect now. And that does it for this tutorial. Very quick, very simple, and I hope you learned something new.